Hi guys. Hi guys. So this is a follow up to the walk and the trot, the contact within the movement. So how the horse moves, how you have to move in the contact. In the walk and the trot, I've done that and I'm now going to do the canter today. Quick recap in the walk, hands going forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. And my hips are swinging, I'll exaggerate it, which is what you don't want to do, forward, back, forward, back. You just want to follow the movement of the horse. So just swing within relation to your horse's size of the walk. I'm just going to recap the trot, so we're going to go into just a normal sort of low neck stretchy trot, so I've got him quite long today, because uh, it's an easy day for him, he's having a little play with his stallion flips, which is fine by me, because it loosens his back up, and I trust him. So, elbows, bend straight, bend straight, I'll exaggerate it. As my body goes up, my elbows straighten, and as my body goes down, my elbows bend like a small presser. Obviously, you need to have a steady hand, bend and straighten your elbows, and the horse needs to be within the connection. It needs to feel like you've got a couple of little chihuahuas and you're taking them for a walk. Over the back horizontal frame. I don't mind what, where he puts himself today, because it's an easy day for him, and he'll tell me where he's tight if I allow him to do that. Get the trot prepared for the canter transition. So try to make sure that you have enough impulsion before you ask for the canter. So your inside leg is asking for impulsion, so that should be sorted. Your outside leg just initiates the canter. It's not there to, to heave the horse into canter. I think a mistake a lot of people make is they use too much outside leg and the horse then bucks into the canter because it's either croup high or the impulsion or the connection is not correct. So they have to give an over strong aid sometimes into the canter. I hold my hand up, I'm guilty of that sometimes myself. So it's something we just need to be aware of. Shorten my reins a little bit, keep the same rhythm, check that I've got enough impulsion. It's still a bit playful, which I don't mind. I just keep the connection soft. So I sit and then just ask very softly with the outside leg. So my inside leg is slightly forward, my outside leg stays slightly back. That's the transition. Stop, stop. So we've got a fairly balanced, sort of again, horizontal type canter. Could go either way, creep high or onto the floor. It's relatively straight. I wouldn't stay on circles all the time, but you can hear me better if I do. So hands forward, back, forward, back, rowing, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Exaggerating it so you can see. Swing. Like a swing in the park. You know when you want to get a swing in the park going. No one's pushing you. It's that movement. Swing, swing, swing. So I exaggerate. Arms. Forward back, forward back, forward back. Hit. Swing, swing, swing. So I'm just letting him do what he wants to do. I'm really focusing more on so you can see what the movement is. So, he's falling to his left shoulder a little bit, so I ride those lovely diamonds that I'm always talking about. I'm still going forward, back, forward, back, swing, 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 hit, 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 elbows, elbows, straight bend, straight bend, straight bend, straight bend. <laughs> so, I see I exaggerate it, he moves on a bit and opens his body. Now I reduce it, because I'm still following and he starts to shorten a little bit, take my body tall, lighten my seat a little bit, and he comes back. Okay.
slow-mo video. So trotting, elbows, bends, take. It's lovely taking the rain. It's a little bit low, but I don't mind. Sit soft. And then really, I just had to touch him with my outside leg. He knew what was coming. And then normal working canter. Woo, lost the outside shoulder, so I think diamonds. Great. So it, I bring my hands to the inside to bring, see, like that, to bring the horse in. I don't pull the inside rein. And then I leave the horse on the outside rein to correct that outside shoulder. And then I only start half halting on the outside rein until the horse is into both reins. I'm going to come back so I just relax my feet go rising and there you are it's all done from my body relax relax walk no change in the contact 